Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. More TRX 4M stuff today. Um, from this, this is after the run video that was put up. Um, had a great time. Uh, took the tarantula out there and gave it a shakedown run. It did really good. Um, the red truck that was in that video belongs to my friend Derek, and he did a I write much of the camera work on it, and I really appreciate it, Derek. It was awesome to actually be able to get out there and run and get some some uh, <clears throat> some film at the same time. And I'm sorry, his battery died about the time we were <laughs> were really getting into filming some stuff, and so that's why the runtime on the red Silverado was so short. But there's going to be more to come. But anyway, let me get this out of the way because what I'm focusing on today is the F-150. Now, I did run this truck the other day when we took it up to the hobby shop. Um, bone stock. There's nothing that's been done to this thing. Other than, The only thing I have done is I went ahead and got a little antsy and put the new light kit in it. But I'll show you guys that whenever all, everything else is done. But today, uh, since the shakedown run with this truck on that track, I see what I believe I need to change. And that is a lot of the stock stuff needs to come off and be replaced with a little bit more weight and stuff that's not going to bend so easily so i ordered a bunch of parts and let me show you guys what we're going to do first and foremost um i'm going to change the ratio in the transmission i bought the the gear set from traxxas again for this one there's a part number if you want it and so we're going to open up the transmission swap these gears and that should slow it down a little bit and to where it's not so jumpy. I've noticed this thing is really, it wants to lunge so bad uh, when you're trying to do a, you know, little, little crawling and whatnot with it. And it just, it needs to be slowed down. And there's not a, there's no settings on that radio that you can change or that I've seen that I can change. So this is the best way for me to do so. It's, it's worked out well in the tarantula. So definitely going to do that here. Uh, then I'm going to move on to upgrading the drive shafts. Another set of the Enjoras. Uh, they work really well on that tarantula. So I figured I'd swap these out. So we don't have an issue with popping that front drive shaft. It seems like the front drive shaft on these trucks are the weakest point. Uh, had no issues with the tarantula. So I'm going to go ahead and swap those out on this one as well. After that, moving on to suspension and we're going to be dropping in. A set of brass links now just you know no name mess off of amazon because i'm trying to keep this within a budget uh but the the set this set is identical to what's on the other truck works really well a uh, lot of parts to have to put in it uh, a lot of people's told me not to run the o-rings on the outside of the ball uh, but i'm still i believe i'm going to go ahead and still do it on this one uh, because i like the way the other one acts by you know having everything in there and then lastly, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should tell this or not, the supplied motors in these trucks are 87 turn. Um, when you do the gear swap, I noticed on mine, there's just, in some instances, it just needs a little more wheel speed uh, to make it over some of the obstacles. So we're going to go from an 87 turn to a 44 turn, and I hope I'm saying this right, Muse Racing Motor in this truck and i've also got one for that tarantula and I'll, i'm not really going to focus on that one today but um all of these parts are going into this 150 this evening now what i'm going to do uh since it's, it doesn't take a lot of time but it is kind of tedious i'm not going to run the camera the entire time so this won't be some long drawn out video but i'm going to stop it dive into the transmission open the transmission up and then pick it back up from there show you guys how you know you know what, what goes on in there if you've never been inside of one swapping the motor things of that and same thing with the suspension and same thing with the drive shafts and hopefully when it's all done we've got to rig this a little more uh i don't say bulletproof but a little more capable out on the trail so i'm going to go ahead and stop this thing now get this body off get some parts off of it that i need to get out of the way in order to get started and i'll pick you guys back up very shortly four screws in that center skid plate let's see those four there, two on the outside of my finger, 
loose on the outside of my finger. Pull those four transmissions out. Then four screws on the, on the case. Get you inside. These are the gears we're going to replace. So fairly simple. Take your time. Uh, and it goes right back together. Then it's just reverse the process. And uh, then we're going to hang the drive shafts from there. So hang on. And there it is after the gears are put in. New motors hung on the in the case as well. And we have the first portions of the drive shafts in. Now this we're good, this is going to be the last piece that goes back in the truck when we start to put it back together. So now we're going to focus on getting the suspension out from under it. And dropping all these links together. Let me open this bag up, show you what we got. When you get them out, not marked. But it's pretty self-explanatory. The longer ones are the rear, shorter ones are the front. The bent go to the bottom with the bends towards the axles on both ends. The straights are the locators for the top side. And then all of the balls and O-rings are here. So let's open this up and we'll get one together. Show you how, how these are anyway. Okay, so this is not real easy for people with big fingers, so I'm going to go ahead and forewarn you there. So, all it comes down to is you take an O-ring, slide it on the outside of one of the balls there. Then you have this. Nope, oh, come on camera. You have this, and then you basically just slide them through your rod or your suspension rods and then set an o-ring on the other side and it's encapsulated looks neat man i like it it looks like there's probably uh, polyurethane bushings that you put on a regular suspension on like a car or truck but be careful don't take your time or just take your time uh, and i'm not sure that they send extra o-rings i would hope they would but they will take off on you if you get in a hurry or they may break, and so then you'll be all frowny face, and then possibly saying words that you shouldn't be saying. Uh, some guys like to build them without the O-rings, but and that, and that's a personal preference. But I just feel like without them, it gets a little sloppy. Not saying that it does, and I'm not picking on it, but I just kind of like the way uh, the suspension acts with the O-rings. So that's how I'm going to build these. So I'm going to get to putting these together on all of those and those over there and then i'm going to cram them under that and we'll pick it back up from there okay so the links are on it but we've hit a little bit of a snag had it on top of my toolbox so you can see the fronts are fine and the geometry is just about perfect the rears i do believe they sent the wrong kit <laughs> Because the bottom links are just a shade shorter and you see that it's drawn the axle forward. Now, is it enough to, you know, bitch moan and complain about? No. So what I'm going to do is just lose the bottom links and put the stock bottom links back on for the time being. That way to get the geometry back in order where it needs to be. And uh, that should put it back in line, hopefully. Um, I'm not too much where I can either make a little set, which I might do because I, I'm really wanting the weight on the front end. It's nice to have it on the bottom period, you know, to keep all that weight low, but I'm really trying to concentrate the weight on the front end to keep the front end planted when it's climbing. So, but yeah, everything was going so smooth and then wham. I will say this. If you've never done this before, don't be, number one, don't be intimidated, but Take your time, do pick, pick an end, take one end and do work on one end at a time. And when you do so, don't drop both. You know, if you're, again, if you're new, don't drop both sides at, at, a, you know, at any given time, um, work on getting say the uppers done first and then the bottoms done. Um, that way you avoid a lot of confusion. It can get a little confusing. But if you take your time and get the right damn kit, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't have any issues at all. So I'm going to drop 
the bottom links, put the stock ones back on there, and we're getting ready to finish this thing up. So you guys will see there's a difference in the length of the bottom length. Damn, daggone it all. Well, everything's back in there, but I also, uh, rather than just swapping the bottom links on this thing, I had to swap the top links for the stocks also, because apparently I ordered what it's what it called for, and I don't know if they just sent me the wrong thing or what, but I'm not going to complain. I'll just order another set, or who knows, I'm, this may, this rig may wind up as one of those, for, you know, if it keeps giving a fit, but... Um, I'm going to stick the battery tray back in it and yeah, put the tires back on and hopefully, hopefully it doesn't burst into flames. Let's, uh, and if it doesn't, we'll call it a win. So all of the parts are in this thing. Other than the foul up with the suspension links, um, it's gone together pretty quick. And I got to say, I'm just sitting here messing with it on the, on the bench. There's a couple of things that I do need to straighten out. But it's got a ton of it's got a ton of torque now. And uh, now, mind you, both of these trucks have got, have got the same gears in them, right? So, but this one has the forty-four turn. This is going to be probably the dumbest thing I've done on this channel. Now, there's plenty of other ones. So, can't run them out here. It's getting dark. Uh, I got nobody to do any filming, so all I can do is just give you an idea of the difference in wheel speed. Is just a <laughs> nail them both from there, and uh, you kind of get an idea of which one's going to be the quickest. Now, um, now mind you, I'm going to put that right as same motor in that tarantula. So, but I'm not going to do it tonight. So I got other things I need to do. So just to give you an idea of the difference in speed. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's the same gears, same batteries, everything. So with that, the wheel speed that I'm looking for should not be an issue anymore. One more again. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's just leaps and bounds quicker. So if you're looking for a little more wheel speed, that Muse 44 is on Amazon. <laughs> God, I'm sick and tired of ordering from Amazon. But it is on Amazon. Um, it's like 13 bucks. Uh, goes in pretty quick. You do have to disassemble the transmission. So if you haven't done a, tra uh, a gear upgrade, I would suggest getting the gears to do that at the same time so you don't have to pull it back out and do one or the other. Um, yeah, there you go. And so I hope the light, I hope this camera will pick it up. But I swapped out the really white blue leds for these old it's kind of like a halogen look thank you Otto, for these he made me this strand and uh also got the tail lights on it so i am digging that mirror just fell off in my hand of course but what i'm going to do with that but um at least i still have it but all together pretty psyched about it uh can't wait to test it. Can't wait to get that motor in that rig. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. I still got a lot of stuff that I need to do. I'm going to wind up searching for another suspension kit, more than likely, if I don't make my own. I'm not going to go through the rigmarole of sending that back, but we'll get it straightened out. Uh, I got to retime the drive shaft. not a big deal. And after that, this thing should be ready to go. If I do anything else to it, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Thanks for taking a look. Hope you guys are happy, healthy. Check on your neighbors and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.